Why are the lights out? What happened to the lights? What happened? What happened to the lights? What happened to the lights? <laughs> I don't know what happened to the lights. They're not on. You don't have the lights? No. Do you? I do. I do. You forgot to turn them on. <laughs> oh! Ain't gonna end on you. Hey there. We are doing a really special thing for teachers today. We're giving them some sugar cookies. They can make it with their own icing and stuff. I'm here with Miss Santos. Hey, Miss Santos. Hello there. And um, we're having a lot of fun with our teachers. You know, I really enjoyed sharing last week with you about the, the foyer and some of the neat things that had happened at the very beginning. And like I said, over Thanksgiving, I actually came across some um, a lot of footage. I want to share something else with you. Come check this out. Studio right into the track, and this a throwback. Think about what you love for me. Why would I ever leave you? You guys have played on this playground for so many years, and this is a playground that our PTA bought us a few years ago, and of course that shade just went in a couple weeks ago. So. Thinking about the shade and thinking about some of the things that our PTA has added to our, our playground just here recently got me thinking a little bit that you guys would might like to hear the story about how that playground kind of came to be. So back when we first opened, we didn't have, uh, we just started our PTA and we didn't really have any kind of money. Our PTA didn't have any kind of money. And so what happened was, was that through the bond funds that actually purchased the school, we were able to purchase this. But um, it was really more expensive than the money that we had. But I talked to the guys and we were able to get some discounts and I went in with another school as far as shipping and it's got other kinds of things. And so we ended up being able to get this really great structure right here. But we had no money to install it. So having spent my money on the most awesome structure that I could possibly get, in fact, I actually got more structure than I had money for, I had to figure out a way to kind of get it in. So we went to our parents. And our parents really came through just like they always do. I mean, we have an amazing community and some amazing parents. So. I just happened to take some footage at that time and I'm kind of showing you, look at these swings back here. These swings and the structure that I'm standing on now went in that very first year. We didn't have this yet, the shade, but we did have these and we did have this structure. Let me show you what it took to get this thing in. So what you heard there is my daughter. She's uh, with my wife who is actually taking the video. And um, that's one of our uh, dads that was helping us. And there you can see, there I am on the right. Um, really hot. This is actually one of my favorite videos of the um, playground being put in. Um, you can see the, uh, there, there's about half of us working on um, getting the swings put in. It reminds me of a barn rising or something, but I, I just love this little video. And let me tell you what, it was hot. 
It was in the middle of July and it was really quite amazing. And we worked very, very hard. It took us like a whole weekend of sweating and getting that in and boy, did we get it in. It was really great. We had someone there from the company to make sure that we did it right, but we got it in, we got it right, and it's been here for nine years. I share this with you because you know what? A lot of times we come out here and we do things and it's very easy to take for granted the amazing things that we have here uh, not just at Wood Creek, but just in our lives. If it wasn't for the dedication of our community and our parents, we may never have any of these things. And boy, isn't it fun to play out here? Hi, Mr. Mosier. My name is Felicia Sheedy, and I'm one of the assistant principals at Wood Creek Elementary. And this is my fifth year to teach at Wood Creek. One of the things that people don't know is I'm the first one in my family to graduate from college. My mom and dad were so proud. When I was younger, my Aunt Carolyn uh, encouraged me to want to go to A&M and she took me to all the football games and I realized I was going to be a lot of work and so I went to Clear Creek High School and all the teachers knew I wanted to become an Aggie so they supported me and I actually um, just made it a goal and next thing you know I made it into A&M and was just so proud and I actually graduated from A&M the first time in 1992 with a sociology degree and then I realized that I wanted to become a teacher and so I stayed two more years and graduated finally in 1994 I have two degrees not cool so after I worked as a teacher for three years, I realized I wanted to become an assistant principal and I stayed. I lived down uh, south uh, and went to U of H Clear Lake, go Bobcats, and graduated with my master's degree. Whoop! Class of 92, baby! 